Hello. Stream is starting. <laughs> and it is already almost 6 a.m. Gonna get myself all ammoed up. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> My webcam just died last night, so that's unfortunate. But otherwise, I am doing a-okay. Oh, I need to actually go up the ladder. Good to hear. So, to start this off, I noticed something really weird when I came in. I was just looking at the map because, I mean, always good to figure out where, where you're at with things. But I noticed something else! Why is there a trader on my map that I don't know about? Somehow... Apparently, there's a traitor in town. Which sounds amazing. And I'm going to go to immediately. Because that is awesome. I don't know what I was planning to do for this stream. Can't exactly remember. But that's okay. Because interacting with a new trader is high priority. I don't know. Trader Hugh is a bit sus. <laughs> A traitor trader would be bad. I am really excited though because then I have two sets of trader inventories that I can trade with every three or so days. I don't actually remember how often they reset. I think it's like three or four days. I just realized it's a bit ballsy of me to just, like, go straight through downtown, considering that one of the last times I did this, I got eaten by a pack of dogs, but hopefully that won't happen again. I'll save my pedaling for that. Wait a minute. Is that a working stiff? Oh my gosh, there's a cracker book and a working stiff here. Working stiff is good for the, uh... Um, it's where you find good tools and track books for, well, books. Yeah, it's not even like a high skull difficulty area either. Well, I, I have a ton of shit on me, but I'm still going to go in here anyways, because this is a good place to find stuff to sell. They always hide the zombies so well. They're just barely out of sight. No? Maybe they're up in the ceiling. Probably there's at least one in the bathroom. Ah! I knew it! Oh, there's, there's two in the bathroom. Sound check. Is everyone 
able to hear me in the game okay? Kind of funny how the um the barbecues have like cooked meat in them, even though they're display models in this scenario. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I, I don't have any music going or anything. I should really set up some sort of music or something for the streams, but I never, I never know like what to use for that. Uh, I don't need food that badly. So many toilets. No. Yeah, low fi is good. I'll have to find a decent source of it at some point. I'm getting really unlucky with just the things I'm looting, but I guess these would be like the scraps that you can still find in a hardware store after it's been looted like 50 times. Okay. Hello, sir. You are going to die now. to go into the back. Oh, are there more? Oh, there's more shelves. Oh, I got a lock pick. That's so nice. So, I've been planning for a while, I said this in streams before, that I'm going to um, map out like a bunch of different uh, things to lock pick, and then I'm going to use the lock picking buff to uh, allowed me to use, like, a single lockpick to pick, like, five different things. And it's coming along well so far. I have, for my route so far, I have an ATM, a cop car, a cop car, a cop car, a wall save, and a cop car. That actually might be as much as I can do in three minutes anyway, so I should probably do that soon. What is this? Is this fertilizer? It's fertilizer. I don't want that. Sand. I can get that later. Ah! You are around here somewhere. Ooh, bricks. That's good. I'll take stone. A lot of stone. That's awesome. Now, into the back. There's the actual, like, loot room there. I guess I have to go upstairs. Oh yeah, and then there's the office. Okay, I'm gonna close the door. Just to, like, give me... A warning if something hears me. I might just have to leave some of this stuff here. Because the idea was that I'd get a bunch of shit to, like, 
to sell, and I bring it directly to the trader, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot of that right now. A lot of it's just like basic supplies that I eventually will need. Oh yeah, sandwiches. And coffee, don't need that. I should come back and dismantle this vending machine at some point. Okay, there are... there's a zombie behind... over there-ish somewhere, and there's one in the trailer. Assuming they haven't been moved. Oh, there's one over there now. Two? Okay. Yeah, this act proof ad's actually been changed a fair bit. That's still sleep. Eh. Okay, cool. I wanted to get her with the sneak bonus before I left. Thank you, yeah. It was really dicey doing that, but you know what? Melee it is. Oh my god. I am missing very badly. Okay. All right, I know what I was going to do today in game. It's horde night tonight. <laughs> and that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so I need to reinforce. Well, there's not much to reinforce, but I need to do a little bit of reinforcement on uh the other house, the uh, one I've been using before. Just fix things that's been broken. Not that there's very much, but I should take some time to actually go over it and make sure. Ah, oh, it's clay. Okay. Not good. Oh, fuck. Didn't realize that was a dog. Scared the shit out of me. Ugh. Spear crafting. Ooh, wood. That actually doesn't give very much wood. Oh well. Okay, I need to... need to keep moving. Okay, just leaving some, some stuff behind for now. I'll come through and grab it later. And I've emptied my inventory. <laughs> oh man, my aim is so bad today. There is a zombie that screams and summons more, but that was not that one. No, she's like this little girl from the sh that looks like she's from The Shining.
that is the one that summons everything. Oh, hey, Ron. Glad you can make it. Yeah, we just started. I found out that apparently there is a traitor somewhere nearby. Right here. My house is right there. And the other traitor is way the fucking hell over there. So, it's a lot closer to go this one. Uh, I didn't know this one was on my map. It's just showed up. I just noticed that today. So I'm going there really quick. Uh, it is horde day, so I have to make sure to get back and then get to the horde base and work on that fairly promptly. But otherwise, I'm doing good. Uh, salvage tools, workstations. There's something to sell. Yeah, I didn't realize this town had a traitor. They don't really spawn, like, relative to the towns or anything. Like, they're just wherever the hell they spawn. So... I'm going to turn down the audio a little bit, because I don't want to terrify anyone too much. Just a tiny bit. I still need to be able to hear, like, really faint sounds, so... Not everything, but I am... Just, just making a few changes. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have any cloth to repair that, because I dropped it. Darn it. Uh... Whatever. I'll leave the rest. Okay, so I need to get over... Eh. Yeah. Oh my god, I need to... <laughs> my jump is not initializing. There we go. Okay, grab a bike. Eh. Rude. Eh. There we go. That was a dramatic death. Okay, well, that working stiff did not last too long, at least. I'll get the fire truck. Oh, there's another cop car here. Hmm. That I can use to repair things. That I can use immediately. And the acid. Okay, I'm gonna save that there's a cop car here. Okay. Just so I can remember for eventual lockpicking runs. I think I have enough to do a full run, though. Just, like, enough stuff, because the buff only lasts for three minutes, so I only have three minutes to do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> Well, this is convenient having just... What is the point of these? This is convenient having a trader right here. I've got a lot of crap here. Any new plans for the horde? Do you expect it to be a bad one? Uh, not really. Like, to, to both questions, not really. Um... I don't think it'll be too challenging to do this horde. It's day 21. 21's not particularly bad. Um, I'm more worried about, like, day 45 and stuff. That's that's when it tends to be more challenging, but till then I should be okay. I'm mostly just going to, like, shore up a few blocks and stuff and call it good.
pipe shotgun. Good, I can sell that. Okay. Ah, I've looted enough stuff and I don't really have a huge amount of time. I'm gonna get in there and see what he has and needs and such. Ooh, repair kits. I'll have to grab those. Oh, there's lots of stuff to loot in here. No loitering. Well, you're not very nice. Okay. That actually I is guess still you're pretty not... loud. Ambient sound volume. Hmm. I guess I'll lower that and hope it helps. So bad after all. Okay, Spear Hunter, that, that. Are we done here? Oh yeah, you get XP for selling things. Also, I'm level 20. That's nice. Uh, this one is the Burning Shaft mod, which is really nice. Because that just basically makes it so I can see things and also set enemies on fire. Uh, okay, put that there. Put that on there. Okay, jobs. Um, we're in the southwestern part of the town, so east and northeast are probably good. Fetch north. 100 meters north is... I don't know what that is. Moe's Grocery. Oh. Oops. Okay, the burning spear is pretty cool. I don't really want to do a grocery store, per se. Though it is really close by, so it might be decent for that. Um... Clear zombies north. I'm just going to assignment. Ecto commons. Yeah, yeah, right, I can see what they are. Come on back power shack. There's this complicated buried situation. Supplies. Oh, buried supplies. I should do that. Andy, we've got a deal. Do I have anything else I can sell? Not that I really want to sell. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. What do I need from him? Seeing as this is going to be a Daylight's challenging day with the horde, It'll be a good day for XP. Hmm. Assault rifle crafting, explosives, firing. I always get more water filters, but I think I'm doing decent on that. Gunpowder is super cheap. Grab some of that. Ooh, football helmet. Hmm. Coal is cheap. Coal's, coal's really cheap. It's only like three tokens per coal. Let's grab that for gunpowder. I think... I mean, I can make an iron shovel, so it's not really worth buying that. Um, I guess I'll buy the 9mm bullets. Just as much as I can manage, since it's always good to have bullets. Well, it's about time you bought something. Okay. You a few tokens here. Oh. Ooh. God, he has so much stuff to loot here. 
I never think about the fact that they have... Oh, I just got two more lockpicks. I never think about the fact that, like, they have some good stuff to loot, really. But they do... Oh, I have four lockpicks now. That's awesome. Oh, there's a munitions box I can loot. Oh my gosh. I need to check all of this to, like, see what I can loot of it. Well, okay. As much as I can before I have to, like, get the hell out. Ammo. Oh, a red dot sight. That is not actually going to be too useful for me. Can I put on the bow? No. Okay, that would be stupid. I had hopes. Okay. Okay, where's my bike? I need to get out of here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight back home and dump off stuff and get ready. Ooh, fire station. Fire station's pretty good. Oh no, that's a lot of vultures. Mm, I don't like that. Why is there just a pack of vultures here? Oh my gosh, you can do wheelie over do wheelies over um the uh I don't know what they're called. The things that stop you from driving any farther if you, like, park in a parking space. I'll need to try that more. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I have one buzzard following me. A vulture. I can never remember which one it is. Let's get out of here before it, keep, it catches up. I mean, I guess I could just shoot it, but I don't really... I'm trying... TRYING not to waste bullets. But they're also the most fun way to kill zombies, so... Eh. I like biking through this field, because it's... It's so bumpy. <laughs> it would suck if you were actually biking through it, but... Okay. Yeah. Okay, meat stews are done, pumpkin pie is done. Oh, pumpkin pie. 50 food. That is too much for me right now. A lot of this is. Okay, I'll keep the pumpkin pie on me. I'll, I'll eat it later. Sometime before the horror, probably. Okay. Dump stuff in here. Oh, I didn't use the bartering thing, but whatever. It's not like... Uh, it's not that big a deal. It would matter if I was actually buying more valuable stuff. Yeah, it's interesting what does and doesn't cause damage to the vehicles. Like, you can run it as hard as you want over... Um, like, rough terrain, but if you run into a rock, it'll hurt your vehicle a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring the pistol. I think, okay, so I'm gonna leave the AK behind, and I'm going to use pistol. 
the pistol for this just because I have way more. I have almost 600 pistol ammo. So it makes more sense for me to just use that for now. Leave that here, leave that here. Actually, wait, do I have. I have the light on this. I don't really need that. I'll put the laser sight on. Okay. I'll dump off my 762 ammo. I do have I have almost 300 762 ammo, but it's not it's much more valuable than the 9mm. It takes triple the amount of gunpowder to craft it, so. Uh, this is 60 water. I don't need that. That. I'm gonna bring my pumpkin pie. We're gonna bring my cobblestone rocks and some cobblestone cubes. I think I have cobblestone rocks. No, I thought I had cobblestone rocks being made. Oh well. I'll leave that stuff alone for now. Uh, I should... I need to bring wood with me. Some cobblestone rocks on the craft here. I shall put some in my, on in my inventory. Work. Craft a hundred. And I'll craft a bunch in here. Cobblestone rocks are like the main... Thing you like after wood, like the first thing you use to craft things. I'll bring some torches. Oh, do I have stone arrows? I'm gonna waste all my yeah, I'm gonna waste all my stone arrows. I can leave my iron arrows here. Just waste all the ammo that I can't easily use normally. Okay. That should be more than enough for now. I'll eat and drink when I get the chance. Okay. Time to go to the other place. Uh, should I bring wood for spikes? You know what? I'm going to bring the rest of my wood for spikes. Later on, I will start, like, actually preparing for the hordes. Like setting up spike traps and stuff and like making actual reinforcements. Eventually I want to make like my own actual house and use that because then it will be ideal for hordes. Because this is not ideal for hordes because you can't actually see most of the zombies when they like break into the house. And if you can't see them, you can't kill them. If you can't kill them, then no more spawn and there's just kind of those few that sit there for a few hours. Okay. Take stuff out of here. Pick it up. Okay. Need to look for things that are broken. Wait, what? What is this made of? Oh, I can upgrade them for another 300 durability. How much does it take to do that? It takes 10, so I can only have to upgrade 40, which is not a huge amount. Okay, I can do here. Let's build, let's make some more cobblestone blocks. It's like five, should be good. And spikes. Wooden spike trap. Uh, well, I'll use them eventually. I'll make 50. I'm probably going to... Oh. 
I didn't realize I could do this. Can I close this one? Oh my gosh, I could have closed this one last time. Just gonna upgrade the metal blocks because it's harder for them to... If they if they need to break the metal block to get through, like the metal block and one of the other blocks, so gonna break those or upgrade those. Uh, okay, so I already have spikes here. Where else should I put spikes? Uh, well, I don't need to get into this house ever again, really. So it's like I'll just be going in from the outside. Also, you get, like, an obscene amount of experience from upgrading things. Okay, four way. Close that up. Okay, not gonna bother with that stuff. This stuff is wood. Yeah, okay, it is wood. Yeah, this is... I imagine this is what I had planned to do before I forgot. Wait, why are there zombies in the house? This entire house didn't just, like, reset, right? No, it couldn't have because the... The, uh... The, um... Car is still looted. So maybe part of it reset? Yeah, things wandering around there. Unfortunate. Where is that? Oh, right here. No, I'm repairing that. Bad. Bad zombie. Oh my gosh, I'm missing the play. All the exterior walls good. Uh, no blocks damaged. Okay. Oh, there's a burrow there. A zombie burrow. Okay, place that there. Don't want to craft too many, because I need the cobblestone rocks for upgrading as well. By the way, what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for health bars. Like, yeah, uh, the health bar only pops up if it's damaged. I'm looking for like things to pop up. Okay, I already went through a bunch of that. I don't ha I'm not repairing the bars because that takes four time and that's expensive. The bars go down, the bars go down. Okay, I think that's the, ex the exterior done. Okay, this is really weird. The zombies have all respawned. Zombies are back, but nothing else is. Yep, 
Yeah, this entire area that I cleared last time is still here. Okay. Let's make a chest. Right there. Some random crap in here. I'll leave some bacon and eggs in here, why not? My pumpkin pie now. My golden rod. Leave extra ammo in there. Spikes out here. Extra repair kits in there. I'm gonna leave my bike in here so it's safe. Uh, where should I put my torches? Well, I guess I might as well put a torch over here. Oh, hello. You know, I really didn't plan for you to be here. You might even say I didn't plan at all. Uh, yeah, unfortunately they can easily get up here as soon as they're through the wall. That's not ideal. There. All this stuff's still looted. No. Bad. Stop damaging my whorehouse. Not to be confused with the whorehouse. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Anyone else feel like causing you trouble? He's on fire. Just close the door and let him move to death. There is a wall safe! Aha, and that is why I break those. <laughs> the horror of uninvited guests. Like, if I can shoot them, it's fine. But if I have to be nice to them? Oh no. It's like that nice neighbor comes over and, like, they don't realize you have, like, horrible social anxieties. They're just like, hi, you want to come over for dinner sometime? And, like, yeah, yeah, sure, totally, totally. Please leave my house as fast as possible. <laughs> uh, what should I put here? That's going to be there. I guess I will put some random spikes around. Ooh, I can fix that. We need extra towels in a room, but I also want to eat your brains. <laughs> oh, I love your sense of humor. Ow. <laughs> that was spikes. Oh, no, I should not open that, because that'll open the door, and I don't want to open the door. I want to keep the door closed. For my safety. Uh, let's see... Let's leave a area for them to go through, and we'll just walk through the spikes, so that's useful. Put some random spikes around places. Well, since they're stupid, they most likely just like walk into the wall. So I'm just gonna put these around here. Ooh, 
Who is that? Oh, I actually got him with that. Can't loot through the bars? No. God damn it. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go out there again. Uh, building blocks. Maybe some crappy ones. Yeah. Okay. Drop. Ooh, bullets. Got a bullets. Am I? I'm not reloaded. Should be reloaded. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Nah, there's probably a whole mess of zombies down there. There's a spot. I should get the fuck inside. Like, really bad. No, I really wish I could close that so much, but it is locked open. I hate it. Okay, and that's the horde starting. Which direction are we coming from? Actually, let's run back. Northeast. They always come from like the same. Like once they start coming from a direction, that's where they come from. I think I bought, brought 600 bullets with me. Do I hear others? Yeah, I do, I see. I see you. Firing a mess of them. Fuck. That's not good. I need to get the hell back up. Buzzards flying around. So I guess this is the horde the buzzards start coming. We haven't seen a lot of the things that will be coming in the horde eventually. The hordes are gonna ramp up a lot more than this. Ah How I haven't gotten infected by this buzzard that I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit more so you can still hear me. You build blocks around it so instead they have nowhere to stand once they get up. Um. Yes, but they could just hit the things that are above their heads. Like, that won't stop them very, very well. I guess it would stop things from easily falling in, but... Oh, shit. 
Oh, it's a good thing I have repair kits on me, or this would be a problem. One got past me. Ah! God! Fucking vultures! Vultures! Go away! Fuck! Off! Fuck! Off! Fuck! Off! Thank you. Any other vultures? Okay, where else? Ah! Where do you keep coming from? Oh, I got abrasion and infection from that. Uh, they're a very high status affliction chance. Oh, I see some. Yeah, no, 600 bullets is not excessive. 600 bullets you can go through. Fuck. Okay. Hold on. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage from them. I need to keep a better watch on this guy. So that I don't get hit anymore. Thankfully I'm regenerating well, but... I might have fixed the zombies coming from only one direction. Yep, this guy. The zombie buzzards are really dangerous. At least we don't have zombie bees anymore. I did not like that. Wow, as soon as they got through, they switched sides. So now they have to get through again. Well, that's fine with me. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, there's 300 bullets gone. Okay. Next 300. Uh, I... I already have plenty on me. Oh, some right down there? Maybe. Okay. I'll focus on the ones that are outside. A little bit easier to see. Okay, any more vultures? The the music's kind of cool. That's it. like specific music. Oh, back there? Yeah, they're back there. Oh, looks like they took down took out a block there, but they're not far enough to make use of that. Oh. Uh there. Oh my gosh, she climbed on the head of the other one and got over the fence. Hey! Oh no. I don't like how close they are to me now. Thankfully, they can't get up through that way, but it's 
not it's not encouraging to have them right there. Damn it. Oh, they must have taken down one of the uh garage doors. Once I'm out, yep, I'm three quarters of the way through my bullets. Once I'm out, I'm getting to my arrows. I'll burn through my stone arrows and get some use out of them. Seeing as I probably won't use stone arrows normally anymore. It's a good chance to use up ammo you don't usually use. So you can just like swap through your crappy guns. Ah, I put spikes down there. Kinda. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Whew. <laughs> that got sketchy for a second. Yes, go in that room, it's full of spikes. And will I run out of bullets of durability on my pistol first? Let's see. Where are they? Can I see more over here? Are they? Ah. Oh. I need to make sure not to fall off this thin beam. Wait. The music just changed. Does that mean the horde's over? I think the horde just ended. Uh. Okay. That's weird. I don't hear anything anymore. And the music changed. Well, let's do a perimeter sweep. Scrap loop. Traditionally, once the horde is done, even if there's like a little bit of the night left, it tends to be like um, super safe to wander around because like the horde just the horde like kind of wipes out all other zombie spawning. Because, like, it, it's supposed to all be focused on the horde. Yeah, I didn't get to the arrows! I'm so, kind of surprised. I have 146 bullets left. So I actually... Actually, I guess if you include the ones that clip, I used a little bit over three quarters of my 600. It's about, like, 470 bullets, let's say. Spikes are damaged. So that's damaged. Eh. 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 No. Eh. <laughs> okay, well, 
I'll have to go out there for that one. Okay, just iron bars took damage. Uh, these are almost done. It's unfortunate. Well. Now mind you, this is still dangerous if I wake up any other sleepers. But as long as I don't go near other POYs, I should be fine. There shouldn't be any other zombies out here besides horde zombies, and the horde zombies are dead. Ooh, a level 6 padded helmet. I actually need that. My spikes did work. I hope there's nothing down there. Oh, so, uh, sleepers are zombies that are naturally spawn within the uh, point of interest, which is what POI is. Uh, just like any sort of dungeon or... yeah. Um, the... Uh, so sleepers are by... as their name might suggest, they start asleep and you wake them with sound, so like your movement makes sound and like stepping on certain things makes sound, etc. Uh, so as long as I don't wake up anything that's supposed to be asleep, I'm fine. There probably aren't any other sleeping zombies left in this POY now, thankfully. Even though they respawned. Because of all the shooting. Though there might be some still left underground, so I don't want to go too close to that man. But yeah, point of interest just basically means building, for the most part. There are some exceptions where, like, it's a campsite or something like that. Just anything that has, like, dedicated zombies that uh, spawn there in, like, specific spots and have loot containers. So, like, anything that... anything that you can loot is a loot container. I shovel, I'd kind of burrow through this a little bit, but don't. But yeah, I just put spikes around the manhole. That seems to work decently well. Unfortunately, the uh, manhole has, I think, 22,000 durability, and I don't want to go through that. That sounds awful. <laughs> Stuff. Yay. It's daytime. That didn't really... That horde was a bit different than I expected. I should probably fill this hole in. I don't really want things in here. Um, I 
also a zombie damaging that. Okay, and that puts me just about out of rocks to pair with, unfortunately. Wow, some of, I actually lost a lot of spikes with this, which means that they were good in like good spots. That's good. Glad the spikes ended up being worthwhile where they were put. And then I'll break the door frame. Okay, I'm gonna go up, grab my stuff, and head back home. It's unfortunate that the buzzards are starting to come now. That is kind of an issue. But... Eh. I just need to keep an eye on what is above me. Because they came... I'm not going to say they came close to killing me, but that could have been a problem if I wasn't paying attention to my health. Let's put it that way. Okay, close that. What does the infection for the buzzards do? Uh... So the infection for the buzzards is the exact same infection as the like like the zombie buzzards. It's the zombie disease. So if it gets too high, I turn into a zombie and die. So I'm gonna go home, and I'm going to take antibiotics as soon as possible, so that I don't die. I think that the percentage has to get up to like a hundred percent though to actually kill you. So. It's not too big a deal right now. And downing a jar of honey is enough to take out 5% infection and below. Because that makes sense. The zombie, the zombies are defeated by honey. Oh. That's all I meant to do. Oh, actually, my bike's getting pretty heavily damaged. Let's repair that. Oh, I'm out of repair kits, right. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna repair kit myself. By which I mean... I'm going to heal myself up with things. Okay. Honey. That'll deal with my infection. Um... Abrasion. Oh, so it's my abrasion's treated, so I have 12 more minutes on that, and it'll be healed. Let me change out my helmet. Um, actually, wait, do I have any more modifier slots? I do have another modifier slot for my helmet. That means I can put... I think only the cowboy hat will fit, but let's see. Yep, okay, well, I can wear a cowboy hat now. Yeah, I'm dapper. Okay, I'll get rid of the old padded hood. I'll have to make a crossbow for next horde, because I have some crossbow bolts to use up. Hmm. You know what, I'll just bring the stone arrows with me and I'll just use those for a little while until I run out of things to use them on. Okay, so I'm going to sell that. Gonna bring my shovel with me. Put 
762 bullets away. Oh, these should go back on my bike. I should actually eat stuff. Where, how am I doing for that? 78. So I can take another 43 food. That's the most efficient way to do that. Stuff's all like so high. Uh, I will take one of these and eat it soon. Put it away. Don't need painkillers right now. Put these away. Okay. I can put another 35 in water. These are 24. Should be fine. Let's make some more sand. Actually, no, I already have a lot of red tea. I don't need to make any more yet. Actually, it won't hurt to have more. And that'll be 18 minutes. I guess I'll get that tonight when I get back. Uh, brass radiators. Into the forge you go. Pull the stuff out. some. Just a few minutes. Be good. Feathers. Steel arrows. have any gunpowder. I need more potassium nitrate before I can make a lot of gunpowder. What happened with the gunpowder I brought home? Did I put it somewhere weird? Oh, it's in here. Okay, 762s. Casings and bullet tips. Cell chest. You know, before I go out today, let me actually make some proper tools, if if I can make decent tools or not. Yeah, I can make level three iron pickaxe. Why haven't I done that? Oh, the duct tape. That's why. But I'm doing better on duct tape now, so it's not as much an issue. Uh, so I want a fire axe, pickaxe, and shovel. That'll be 12 duct tape. So, I need another 9. Then I need leather. Worked iron and wood. Okay. Um, what's most important? I guess I'll make a pickaxe now, because I'll probably use that immediately. And the iron shovel. Fire axe. Oh my gosh, I need a bunch more forged iron for that. Oh, gotta keep making it. Doesn't really matter right now anyways. I'm not gonna go chop down a bunch of shit. Not imminently, at least. Oh, I do get some of the meats, too. Okay. That'll 
cover me for the most part. I'll drink the rest of it, why not? Version's almost healed. Arrows I can put away. Don't need couples and rocks right now. Okay. I could use some rock rocks though. Oh. I guess I'll repair that later. But I'm not so busy already. <laughs> Hmm. I could really use, like, real supplies now. I should probably go mining, to be honest. And to do that, I need this pickaxe. Oh, I need some repair kits in there, too. Duct tape and I think forged iron. Unless I have more. I do have two more. That's good. I'll bring my lockpicks with me. Why not? Well, I'll make a few. I'll leave the extra stuff at home. Yeah, okay, that should be good. Do I have... Ooh, darkens my doorstep. Hello. So do I have... any... No. Oh my gosh, I missed a follow! I'm so sorry. Giorgio... Desac? I hope that's how you pronounce it. Thank you for following me. I really appreciate it. Sorry, I was, uh... The horde was distracting me a lot. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. really appreciate it. Hope you're still here to hear that. Okay. Fill with the iron there. Yeah, red pickaxe. Purple pickaxe. And I guess I can keep that. Put the fortifying grip on here. Okay, that should be good. Dump off my other stuff now. I'm gonna keep the uh, stone axe on me because, like, you can use it to repair shit, and that's valuable. Uh, okay, I don't, don't want to keep this on me because I don't need it anymore. Actually, do I care about this right now? I can just make a new axe whenever I want it. I don't have to carry one with me right now. Yeah, I can make a little five. Eh, whatever. I'll leave it here. Oh, there's one other thing. So, I was, I've was i been thinking about the skill system here. And actually, we have skill points to spend anyway, so it's a good time. Um, so, the perks that you pick, it used to be that like you get crafting recipes depending on which one of you pick. So, let's say like I picked the rifle one, I'd get the ability to craft a rifle. You don't get that anymore. Um... Something I have noticed, though, is uh, a bunch of these masteries give you the ability to... Well, here's, for example, find more spears and parts and loot. I haven't been paying enough attention to that, because I think I, bet I would be able to actually like cater my loot that I get a lot better to what I need if I do. So, for example, Grease Monkey doesn't work that way. Damn it! I was really hoping I could, like, force um... I could, like, force vehicle stuff to spawn more often. Uh... Craft glue cheaper. That's nice. Uh... Hmm... 
Ooh. Splints and cast cure sprains instantly. That's nice. So intellect roll three. Are there any find more duct tape ones? I wish. That would be nice. Uh, this would give me better trader items. This would be better selling and such. Hmm. I kind of want to go into the Hidden Strike a lot more, seeing as I am going Light Armor. Like, there's no point going Light Armor if I'm not at least using Stealth for something. So I probably... Probably should pick some of that up. Maybe I should pick up bows. Oh, actually, yes, I'm definitely going to pick a bow, because I hopefully will find, like, more bow uh, manuals, and that will help me get higher quality bows than just primitive because like there's the uh there's the wooden bow that's next and then the compound bow and they would both be very nice to have find more bladed weapons find more handguns machine gunner i might boost this so i can get the second level machine gunner Hunter. Get more resources from animals. Weather affects you less. That doesn't matter because I think the heat is borked right now. Or the temperature is borked. Yep, still feels like 70. Uh, this for farming. Less chance to get stunned, less HP loss. That actually might be worth it too. Healing factor for passive healing. Iron, iron Guts just good overall. You lose food and water slower, you can hold your breath longer, you have less chance of dysentery, and your consumables last longer. Actually, I should probably go into Fortitude. It's This seems like something would be worth it. Aw, oh, I was hoping Deadeye would give me more chance of getting rifles. Spirit attacks are attempts at faster. We'll pre hmm, that might be worth it. Well, the problem is that they cost so much stamina that it's really hard to use the melee weapons for too, too long, so attacking faster is not going to really help me much. Take less damage from landmines. Oh, the tracking stuff is nice. I could track wolves and coyotes at level 4. Five. Oh, I could add a loot bonus. Lucky looter. That's very good. And always will be good. Okay, well, I can't just not do that. Find more salvage tools and parts. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. Okay. Okay, fortifying grip can go on here. Repair kits can go on my bike. Repair that. Do I think bears will start spawning soon? Oh, I'm sure they're spawning already. I'm just yet to see one. There's a lot of zombies out there. <laughs> What's he doing?
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't really need to do this, but the XP is not bad. Wait a minute, I could be just doing this with my bow. I have lots of less useful arrows. Hmm. I'm very split what to do right now, because there's so many things that would benefit me. I guess I could go get the buried supplies. That shouldn't be too hard. Besides, I could benefit from clay and other such things, so. And I now have a, sho a like, a nice shovel. Ah! Forgot the pond was there. I mean, I we go hunting, too. Just, like, if I happen to see a deer. Oh, there's another cop car right here. This one's a bit out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to start at the bottom at the ATM and then just, like, work my way up. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to find maybe one more in that range before I start lockpicking. Drop. Oh, that's like right by the buried supplies. That's great. Who is... There you are. I hear someone on the other side, too. No, you can walk around the light. You don't need to hit it. Ah. Okay, right. Get the ambulance. These should be, like, really valuable loot containers. The ambulances. Well, should be. Anything that has paper in it, I should be looting. Because it gives a chance at magazines, and I need more magazines wherever I can get them. Because I really want to get vehicles eventually, besides the bike. The bike is very nice. I'm very grateful for it, but I need... Oh, this is very tight. I need more stuff than just the bike. Need something faster. There's a machine gun book. And a gathering tools book. Oh, I also got do more damage to deer. Oh no, that was armor crafting, not machine guns. Oh my gosh, I can make iron tools level 4 now. And I just made mine. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're a feral. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Ferals, you can't see because he's on fire, but ferals have glowy eyes and they can always run, no matter what time of day it is. They're much more dangerous. Ok, 
Okay. Sprinting power attacks a high chance to knock down your opponents. Robotic crafting, electrical crafting. Ooh. Zoom. <laughs> what was that? What is this? Is... what? What is this? Okay, now I'm being distracted, however. I don't care. Because this is cool. Oh, hello. It's a good thing I have a burning spear to light my way. Oh, it's so creepy, the way they crawl on the ground. What the hell is this? It doesn't even have a skull rating. And then this is the other side. Oh. There's a no power crate. That's not good. You know what? Yeah. I ran out of stamina at the end. That's why I did that. Oh. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna open this like this. Oh, where'd you come from? Yes, yeah, so this is why you need an axe on you. I forgot about that little fact. Ooh. Ooh, vehicle crafting book. I'm gonna open this. This does not seem to work. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go back the other way. I'm gonna try to use up my arrows however I can right now. Just since I have all these stone arrows that I'm not using for anything. Now I'm starting to get my aim back. Darn. It's very hard to shoot animals with a bow in this game, I find. Okay, airdrop first. Oh, a biker. <laughs> it landed on top of the honey stand. Oh. Okay, well those are books. That's good. Salvage tools. Two to armor and two to explosives. And four books to sell. If you're talking about the uh um the biker guy that I'm shooting right now, yeah, I was just ignoring him. I oftentimes just ignore the zombies. 
It's a lot easier for me to kill the zombies now, though, so, like, there's more reason for me to actually kill them. But uh, before, like, especially at the start, it was a lot harder. And then it just was not worth it. And then if you're low on ammunition, it sucks and all that. But I can melee things fairly well now, so I'm not too worried. I know, the little bee is so cute. How do I... There's a button that... There we go. And screenshot. Oh. I didn't realize I could make the cursor thing go away, too. Wait. Mailbox. Cool. Wait, another mailbox. <laughs> And a car. It's the Hunic residence. Oh, that's one of the developers. Toss the legs with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. Uh, yes, I did beat the trader. I went and stole a bunch of his stuff, and sell, sold him a bunch of stuff, and ran back home. I got this quest from him, right here, to, to dig up a buried treasure. You can get a single quest from each trader that you encounter at a time. So the more traders you have, the more quests you can have at once, which is just good in general. Oh my gosh. Two shots to... Oh. Two shots to break the dirt is so nice. I can't leave the circle, or I get penalized. I don't- I think I can leave the circle to some extent, but not very well. Okay, should be good. This is actually kind of great, because I do need more clay now. I have a fair bit of... Well, actually, no, I don't... I don't have a lot of any of the raw resources, which means that I definitely should be focusing on that at some point. It's definitely... There's definitely a time for mining, and it is coming up. Oh, do I have anything to better my stamina? Yes, I do. Uh... Uh, I don't know if I can go all the way over. I don't know how far I can get out of the circle, so I'm not going to do that. I do have, like, stuff to drink in my bike, though, and that would help my stamina. Okay, level 22. Oh, there we are. Buried food stash. Seed crafting. Oh yeah! This spawns a bunch of zombies around you when you open the thing. I always forget that. I'm gonna take a moment. 
and I'm gonna harvest some of this coal. This coal is good. Get some gunpowder, and so on. Okay, have a good day, Han. Bye! Golden rod, uh, some bacon and eggs. Actually, can I get the mother load? This will give me. This just gives me 20% 20, 20 more of anything I'm harvesting, basically. It's a convenient time to get up a point for that. Before, at the start, like at the very, very start, I was kind of trying to avoid leveling up too much. And I kind of have been at times before I had guns. But now it's full steam ahead. Any XP that I can get is good. Because it'll only make me stronger. Of course, every bit of XP you get makes you... Like, increases your game stage when it increases your level. Which is dangerous because that means that more dangerous zombies will spawn, but risk for reward. something. Is it that guy? Must be. Alright, well. You're getting dealt with. Yeah, sneak bonus. Okay, you're down. I'm gonna get a bit more while I'm here. You know what? 600 coal now. That's good. Of course, like, I'll want, like, thousands eventually, but for now, that will help a lot with my gunpowder situation. So the thing I really need is potassium nitrate. That would help a lot. Ah! Wrong thing. It was that was supposed to be my shovel. Yeah, I need to I need to find like a white potassium nitrate vein and actually work on that at some point. Not like a prime concern right now cuz I still have enough bullets, but I'm not like going through the super dangerous hordes yet that require a lot of bullets. Smithstone silos. But I can... there's the quest, but... But thingy! Thingy! Eh. Eh. <laughs> no. Um, hmm. Okay. Put this extra crap in here. Um... Sure. Thingy! Must leave the thingy. I hear zombie. Oh, that's that one. Okay, how do you get into this thing? Is there an into this thing? Oh. Well. Okay, the shovel's not the right weapon for that, but I I didn't want him to run away. <laughs> okay. This is all sand. No, this is all gravel here. That's good. That'd be worth mining. Ooh. 
I don't know where I'm how to get into this thing. Oh. Oh, this is where you get into this thing. What is this? Sand? No, it's clay. Oh! Oh my gosh! I really, really love the models for the conveyor belts. Those are so nice now! Oh, they're so crisp. Everything used to be so grainy in this game. It's so nice to see that sort of improvement! Butthead! Ow! Oh, and I'm bleeding out. Great. Darn it! Okay, I'm good. I'm not bleeding out anymore. And he's dead. Me. How are you not dead? There you are. That's locked. Crispy conveyors. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. A couple of them fell. Okay. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't care about you, really. Creatures. Ooh. Stuff. Uh, is this? Oh, it's a ladder up. Okay. I didn't see the yellow ladder. Ooh, I don't like... Don't like the heights with this. Because, like, you can very easily, like, just walk right over the bars. I, I knew you were there. I should, like, go slower and use my bow. Actually, no, I don't have time to go slower. <laughs> That's the one that opens. Oh, hello. It's a lot harder to shoot them through this than you might think. How, how many are there over there? Okay. So... Here? No. Here. Yes. Oh. Oh, that one's locked. You know what? This is a gun moment. I am desperately running out of time. What's this do? Oh, it opened a door, I think. But which door? This door, I think. What's this? Am I supposed to dig? Maybe. Unless this is just the wrong place I'm going to, and I'm wasting my time. Which might be true, but we'll see. This does not feel right. I'm gonna go on a limb and say this is not the right way to go. Yeah, I was worried about Beta climb back up the ladder. That's that's why I stopped. Oh, oh, I think that's the right way. I think this was the door that opened. Yeah, okay, because there's a way across here. Backpack. Backpack. 
Okay, this allows me to get down somewhere. Uh, did I jump down here? This feels like I made the wrong choice. Wait, can I just get back up? Well, I mean, I can if I make something, but... I'll make something. Oh. Hmm. Let's try this. Where am I supposed to go? I'm really confused. Hmm. Don't really have the time to figure it out either, actually. I should probably head back, seeing as it's pretty late. Yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to find, but I did not find it. Oh well. It was still cool. Let me see if I can get to the trader before he closes. I don't remember what time he closes at. But he closes before night, and he kicks you out if you're inside. Which, I believe, is, inten is intended to, like, prevent you from staying the night in the invulnerable structure. Rush! Rush! Incredible! Uh, I didn't pipe think bombs, water, painkillers, what it had. God, this is bright. Pipe bombs sound more fun. Jobs. North. Northeast. Can we do something for Passing me? gas. Oh, Ready. that's easy. If you're lucky, and pull this off. Inventory. I'll take care of you. Sell things I don't need. Okay, good luck good. with that. Okay, time to get the hell out of here. Don't. Oh, I guess I could buy stuff if I have like actual stuff worth buying, or if they have stuff worth buying. I mean. Ah, uh, these are worth it. Uh, if I see another, um, what's that candy called? Jailbreaker for lockpicking, I should definitely grab that, but... Don't. Didn't see any. Okay, time to go home. I want to loot that cracker book. There always used to be issues where, like, you'd run out of... Like, like you'd eventually get all the books that you need. Like, not... Not quickly, but, like, relatively quickly as far as, like, the, uh... Um, as far as the game scaling goes. And then, like, you kind of lose all need for the books. Like, it's just like, well, I've read all these, and I can either use them for a small amount of experience or I can sell them. And it kind of, like, it wasn't, like, the best feeling such as them. And now that each one raises your skill by one point, I like that. I think that was a good change. Where's the pass? Oh, the passing guest down there. Bumpity. Bump, 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 bump. Mm. 
Yay, I'm home. Okay, time to dump stuff off. Actually, time to put stuff back in here to make sure I don't run out of stuff there. Okay. I'm gonna leave it down here for now. It should be fine. The zombies don't tend to be smart enough to mess with them, so I'm not too worried. It is funny though that like you like when you get like the bigger um the bigger vehicles just like you saw me pick up the bike and like put it in my inventory you can do that with like the big vehicles so you can just like pick up your pickup truck and stick it in your backpack <laughs> It's kind of silly Okay, money can go in here. Oh, that's a lot of brass. Okay, I'll put some more brass and some more clay in here. Oh, I have my one iron. Uh, I can make some forged steel, or no, forged iron. I'll be able to make a, a fire axe soon, which would be good. The fire axe is just the next version after the uh, stone axe. I need 40 forged iron for that. I, uh, so I need another six, which we'll craft fairly soon. I want my arrows back. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna take the clay I have. Do I have enough clay in here? Yeah, I'm clay in here. I'm gonna make a ton of cobblestone rocks because they're going to be very useful. Because I do actually want to build a house soon. That is coming into the lens of things that I can do now. Duct tape. Okay, so I can make the fire axe. I thought? What do I have? I need 50? Oh, God. Uh, oh, I'm just short. Shoot. Uh, I was hoping I had more of something in here, iron. But I don't. Camping chair. Wait a minute. This probably won't work, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Wait. It can melt down to something? Oh my gosh, it can melt down to something! Uh, the benefits of a house... Building a house rather than a fortifying a prefab. So... With, with like having your own house, you can kind of have it be the size you want. And generally, if it's something I'm going to be using for the horde, I want it to be fairly small. Like you don't actually want the house to like the bunker to be that big. Like you want a like small, compact, like heavily fortified area for the horde, ideally. Um, and then for the house, just like. Um, mostly just most prefabs are really big, and they have a lot of space in them, and you don't need much space. 
and the more space you have, the more space you have to defend. It just makes it more, like, increasingly dangerous to, like... Not increasingly dangerous, it makes it increasingly hard to actually keep it repaired, I find. Plus, it just feels harder in general to reinforce a house. I don't know why. But, like, it just... There's a lot of things you got to clear out of prefabs, too. Oh, there's a wandering horde outside. wonder if I can draw them one at a time with my arrows. <laughs> yeah, I didn't draw any of the others. They'd be running if I drew them. I'm like leaning in, just like trying to see better. <laughs> no. Why am I failing so miserably? There we are. At least they're just stone arrows. Okay, got that one. Ow. I think they're falling just short. There we go. Helps if you lead the shot a bit, too. Ah. Gosh darn it. Okay. This house isn't really, like, fortified to, like, withstand zombie attacks, but it should be fine. There's no way of getting back up here, so, if I took out the stairs. So we don't actually have any, like, risk of them getting to me. They'd have to take down the entire house, and that takes time. And damage that they don't have. Kill that one. This is a great way to spend the night. <laughs> So much free XP. How do I miss both of them? Maybe the the arrows fall off a lot faster than I realize. They do. Oh, that's the problem. So. Maybe... Well, he's getting closer now, so it should be easier to hit him. So maybe that. Yeah, that, that worked! Wow. I guess long range is pretty hard to actually make a wood a stone arrow go the way you want it to go shot from like a primitive wooden wooden bow that you made by hand without much knowledge of bows plus there's also like travel time and stuff Left that entire wandering horde. Oh, there's loot too I could get. Am I safe? I could run out there, I guess. Let me see. Don't see anything moving. Rabbit? What was that sound? 
Oh, my bow broke. It was an awfully metallic sound for a completely wooden bow. So hard to hit. Whatever. Loot bag. Oh, wow! Seven hundred dollars worth, of, or seven hundred tokens worth of money. I don't know why money is worthless. Like it has to be converted into tokens, but money is still valued and convertible into tokens. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but maybe that's just me. I might be able to make first aid kits with some blood bags. Oh, okay. I can once I get to level 50 medical. <laughs> Oh, I can make first aid bandages, though, with the aloe. Ah, uh, my jailbreakers. Need to use those soon. I'm gonna stop bringing first aid bandages with me. I don't really need them for the most part. If I need something badly, I can use a first aid kit, or I can craft a bandage. So I'll just leave one with me. If I need to, I'll just use it up, because it's not that valuable. Mm. Give myself some more stone arrows. Okay. Right. Need to... Curve this shot a bit. I think. No, that one went way off. I think naturally, there's like just some natural stray to the bullets. Like sometimes they just don't go, or the arrows, they just don't go the direction you want them to. Because like one, it felt like one of them like really just like flew off just into the fucking acre. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, okay. Night's almost over. So, uh, this will be my last night of the uh, stream. I'm going to call it soon. Uh, just so everyone knows, I've been editing the uh, Seven Days to Die streams, and I'm putting them up as videos on the YouTube channel. Uh, so if you missed anything and want to, or want to just go back and just see the highlights, you can go view those. The first one, first episode went up yesterday, and the next episode goes up tomorrow. Um, I have PoE videos going out on Tuesday and Thursday, and yeah, I think that's about it. I'm thinking of doing about three Seven Days to Die videos, uh, two PoE videos, and two streams to go up on the YouTube channel every week is the idea. Um, I'm just going to post my channel link in chat. There we go. Okay. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe and all of that. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. And enjoying this with me. I really, uh, the horde was good. It's kind of caught me by surprise, but thankfully I don't need to prepare too, too much right now. So it's not too bad. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow night at, uh, well, it's 6.30 my time. But uh, it's whatever the stream time says. Or you can also join my Discord. Um, which I will link to because that keeps all the uh, up-to-date information uh, including like what
time in your local time zone my streams are going to be. There we go. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. And have a great night. Bye.